नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बीटा फंक्शन तो शुरुआत करते हैं प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बीटा फंक्शन के पहले प्रॉपर्टी से बीटा एम एन इज इक्वल्स टू बीटा एम एन तो बीटा एम एन इक्वल्स टू बीटा एम एन कैसे तो पहले हम फॉर्मूला लिखेंगे बीटा एम एन का तो बीटा एम एन इज इक्वल्स टू इंटीग्रल x टू द पावर एम माइनस वन इन टू वन माइनस एक्स रेस टू एन माइनस वन डी एक्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन ओके सो दिस इज फॉर्मूला फॉर बीटा एम एन तो वी नो दैट प्रॉपर्टी फ्रॉम डेफिनाइट इंटीग्रल कौन सी वाली फ्रॉम दैट इज जीरो टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू ए एफ ऑफ ए माइनस एक्स डी एक्स वी नो दैट दिस प्रॉपर्टी फ्रॉम डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम प्रीवियस स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ सो वी कैन यूज दिस प्रॉपर्टी हेयर सो वी गेट यूजिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी इन इक्वेशन वन सो यूजिंग दिस property in equation 1 we get is equals to integral of 0 to 1 so this x now changes to a minus x here a is 1 therefore 1 minus x to the power m minus 1 and this 1 minus 1 minus x the power n minus 1 and dx so what we actually do we get integral 0 to 1 1 minus x to the power m minus 1 into x raised to n minus 1 dx that is nothing but integral 0 to 1 x raised to n minus 1 into 1 minus x raised to m minus 1 and dx which is equals to beta nm so this is how beta mn is equals to beta mn by the property of definite integral now we will see of second property that is beta mn is equals to integral of 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to m plus 1 n into dx now we have to prove that beta mn is equals to this integral so first of all we write beta mn is equals to integral of 0 to 1 x raised to n minus 1 take m minus 1 into 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 into dx if you can write here n and here m then there is no change because the first in the property before it we have seen that beta mn is equal to beta nm so there is no change if we can change this m position of m and n so you can write here n and here m okay now next next what we have to do that we put here we put x is equals to 1 divided by 1 plus y we put here x is equals to 1 divided by 1 plus y so on differentiating we get dx is equals to minus 1 divided by 1 plus y squared into dy okay on differentiating this we get dx is equals to minus 1 divided by 1 plus y squared into dy now putting this value now before it we say that the limit when x equals to 0 y is equals to infinity as because 1 plus y goes here x goes to denominator and 1 upon 0 is infinity therefore y is equals to infinity when x equals to 0 and when x equals to 1 so x is equals to denominator 1 plus y is equal to 1 by 1 therefore y is equal to 1 minus 1 that is 0 now when now when x is equals to 0 then y equals to infinity and when x equals to 1 y equals to 0 therefore we get is equals to integral of 0 at 0 is infinity here it's 0 so 1 divided by 1 plus y is to m minus 1 into 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus y 
raised to n minus 1 into dx is nothing but minus 1 divided by 1 plus y squared into dy okay now taking this minus outside we get by the property the change in the limits that is the change in the position of the limits here we get infinity here it's zero now here we get 1 divided by 1 plus y raised to m minus 1 into on simplifying this we get y raised to n minus 1 divided by 1 plus y raised to n minus 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus y squared into dy now after solving this we get our answer as is equals to integral of 0 to infinity y raised to n minus 1 divided by now 1 plus y raised to m minus 1 plus n minus 1 plus 2 that is nothing but 1 plus y raised to m plus 1 into dy you can check it through solving now we know that the property that integral a to b integral from a to b f of x into dx is equals to integral of f of t into dt the limits are a and b so this property from definite integral we can use here so our answer gets changed into 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to m plus n into dx hence what we have to prove that beta mn is equals to integral of x to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to m plus 1 m plus n into dx so hence the second property is also proved now to prove now this third property we know that the formula for beta function that is beta mn is equals to integral of 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 into 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 into dx now simply we have to put x is equals to sine square theta here just simple it is we have to put x is equal to sine square theta therefore on differentiating we get dx is equals to 2 sine theta cos theta into d theta now when x equal to 0 theta is equals to 0 but when x equals to 1 then theta is equals to pi by 2 now substituting this limits and this x and value of x and dx we get in this integral 0 to pi by 2 here x is sine square theta raised to m minus 1 into cos square theta raised to n minus 1 because x is equal to sine square theta and 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta therefore we have directly written this is cos square theta raised to n minus 1 and dx is nothing but 2 into sine theta into cos theta into d theta okay now after simplifying we get 2 taken outside 0 to pi by 2 now sine raised to 2m minus 2 theta cos raised to 2n minus 2 theta into sin theta into cos theta into d theta now 2 into after simplifying this we get our answer as sin raised to 2m minus 1 theta cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta and d theta for beta mn is equals to 2 into integral of sin raised to 2m minus 1 in theta into cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta d theta from 0 to pi by 2 hence we have proved the third property in this way we have proved all the three properties and we have proved all these three properties we have seen that there is just simple change that we put x equals to substitute the value of x in the equation in equation 1 that is the main formula for beta function therefore you have to always remember this formula as this is very important this formula is very important In next upcoming video, we will discuss about relation between beta and gamma and also some important problems of it. Thank you for watching.